What's up guys, Twitchy here and welcome to another part in the ARC server manager series. We've ditched the numbers and we're going to specific things now. Um, the numbers sections were for doing specific parts of ARC server manager itself. Now today we have a specific goal. The goal is to get the official servers running in ARC server manager. So as many of you know, the servers are going to be shutting down very late September. Um, they've provided backups that you can download off their site. That's great. Uh, but there's a couple of caveats to that. It's not all smell the roses and happy and pleasant because they've changed how the saves work. So we can save your world, but you guys are going to have to do a little bit of work to save your stuff. Okay, uh, we'll go over that here. I've got a couple little tricks I'll show you to, to make up the difference, but we'll go over that here later on in the video. First off, we're going to start just with getting the files, getting them downloaded and doing all that happy stuff. If you guys don't need this video, feel free to skip it. Uh, go to another part if you need it. If you do need this video, hang on tight because we're getting into it. Okay, guys, first things first, we're going to go to survivethearc.com. We're going to go into their backup server backup sections. I'm going to leave the link to this in the description below. We're going to go down and choose one of our servers. And for me, I'm going to be looking for the Island 47 because that is what I've already downloaded previously. Now we're going to let that download, and while we're letting that download, we're going to talk about something up above there a little bit. See here, I'm going to highlight this, and it says 2023 saves should be run with the following launch arguments, dash, new save format, dash, use store. So if you guys don't do this, um, the server is not going to work like you would expect it to we've been doing a lot of testing a good buddy of mine has like seven servers he wants to get up and running and we just cannot save his character um we've tried using the wiping those out and running it and all it does is give you a low level error um unreal error you can't load the world you can't do anything so these have to be used um, but there are a few workarounds to kind of make your life a little bit easier we're going to go over those later on in the video so now that this is done, let me go ahead and find it, move it down to the desktop here. We're going to right click it and I'm going to extract it. Now I'm going to extract it using 7-zip. You can extract whatever or however you want to extract it. This is going to take a little bit of time and then once it's done, we'll come back. All right, guys, we're back and now you can see we have the extracted file. We're going to open that up and if you guys are um, used to what this normally looks like, in old servers, you're going to notice that there are no profiles. We got the tribe stuff. Let's keep going down. All tribe, all tribe, all tribe, all tribe, all tribe. We have no profiles at all. That is problematic. Okay. And why I say that's problematic is because without the profile, Arc doesn't know who you are and how to get you where you need to go. This is why one of the main reasons that we haven't been able to have a successful server that has both the character and the world. So that being said, we're going to continue on here and we're going to come into our Arc Server Manager. We're going to go ahead and make us a new profile. We're going to call this uh, Twitchy's Official Test Run. All right, and then we're going to set a location. I've already created a folder inside of this bad boy. I'm going to go to our servers. We're going to select that folder. So what that's done right now is that set our save location and that set our profile name. We want to drop down the administrator tab. And we're going to name this Twitchy's Official Test Run. All right. I'm going to blow out the server password because I'm going to make this one an exclusive join server um, right off the bat. We're going to drop this down um, and choose our map name, which is going to be the island because that's where that's going to be. We want to get those command line switches that are right here. We're going to go ahead and copy those. We're going to bring those down a little bit further here to our server arguments. And we're going to save this. 
Now, there's a couple of things I can't change until we actually install the game. So at this point, we're going to come up here and we're going to click install. This is going to take a while, so we'll be back when that's done. All right, guys, so the server has been downloaded. It's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and double check a couple of things real quick. Make sure that save format's still there. Make sure it is still set to the island. Um, make sure that our ports don't conflict with anything that we else we are working on. It's named. We're going to go ahead and start the server for the first time. So we're going to let this run until the server started all the way. Then we'll be right back. Alright guys, so the server started up the first time, we're going to go ahead and shut it down again. I know this seems kind of repetitive and crazy, but it is what it is. In order to get the exclusive joins set up, we need to have everything to where it's at least booted up once to make sure everything's working. Probably helps if I actually hit the, hit the button. Okay, now we're going to go down to the server file details. We're going to add ourselves in as an admin, and we're going to make sure exclusive join is good, and we're going to add ourselves in as exclusive join we're going to save this bad boy all right and then we're going to have to go to our files and get things changed over all right so what we've done right now is we've got an arc empty world all right it's never had anyone step foot on it nothing's ever gone kind of anything anywhere with it all right so what we need to do is we need to come down here and find our files so we're going to go ahead and get bam the old Official test run. We're going to go into shooter game. We're going to go into saved. We're going to go into saved arcs and we are going to delete this saved arc out of it. Okay. Then we're going to go into our server files that we pulled down as backups. We're going to click in here. We're going to control A to select all. We're going to control C to copy and then we're going to control V and we're going to paste all of those files into this location. Now that again, it's a large series of files, so we'll be back whenever it's done doing its thing. All right, it's done doing its thing. So now we can go back into Arc Server Manager and we can start the server. And what we'll have is basically that world available to us whenever we log in, once the server's all the way done. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to the other machine and connect in and show you guys what we got. All right, guys, we're here on the official server. We're going to assume that this is originally our base place, okay? Like, I don't have a character on the original server, so we're gonna assume that, like I said, that this is our original base place. You can see I can't access anything because I had to make a new character. There's nothing I can do about that. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to tab, and then I'm going to type cheat space force join tribe enter now we are officially in the tribe i have access to all these things which is amazing we come down here i can ride my beastie look at my horse my horse is amazing that is one really easy way to get your stuff back all right, so all of the stuff is back. Now, that being said, there are a few other little caveats. First thing, of course, if you look here and go into your tribe information, uh, you are no longer the owner of the tribe. Now, that can be fixed relatively easy just by going in, hitting tab, putting in cheat, make tribe founder, enter. Now, if we look, we are, or should be, the founder of the tribe. Then we should also be able to go in and tab and do cheat, make tribe admin, and you should be the admin of the tribe. So now as far as everything goes, you are back to normal as far as your stuff. Um, but you don't have all of your levels and stuff like that done. So I'm going to go ahead and go downstairs here and park myself in a corner. And then we're going to go over those particulars. So now that we're in here, we're going to go ahead and go back into our tab. We're going to type cheat. Oops, not give. Add. Zero, zero, enter. 
Now, let's see where we are. We have 104 points available. Which is great. All right. Now we need to go ahead and level um, everything out. Which, you know, we're going to do that real quick and then we'll be back. All right, so guys, as you can see, we got all the levels out. We, we can't, we're at maxed HP, not HP, we're at maxed XP. We can't go any further. And that ticks us off because we had ascension levels as well. And we wanted those ascension levels. So how do we get those, right? Well, now we start going through and we do commands for player ascension. So in this case, we're going to do the old tab button. We're gonna put in heat. Is this what? Command ascend. A few moments later. Now I'm gonna put down each of the things that you need. The command to get you max level, the command to get you each ascension. I'm gonna put links to each of those things in the video below. But I just wanted you guys to see that not all hope is lost. To me, the biggest part of this is keeping the stuff, keeping your dinos, keeping your buildings and stuff like that. I don't personally mind leveling. But if you do, then you can do this as well. To me, the levels and the unlocks of the engrams and all that kind of stuff, like it's all gonna come with time and, and everything. Like that stuff never does bother me. It really does not take that long to get leveled up. All right, so that was one ascension. We come in here, now you can see we can get levels again. Great. We're gonna come back in, we're gonna hit tab, we're gonna go up and give ourselves the levels again. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Come in, sweet, we got five more levels. Um, we're gonna put those into food because why not? Bang, there we go. Um, then we're looking to do the next ascension. We're gonna come in, we're gonna do ascension two. Is this what? A few moments later. So that's it guys. That's how you get your levels back. That's how you get your dinos back. That's how you get your structures back. That's how you get into the tribe that you created forever ago. And that's how you go through it without losing anything. And you'll be able to keep that server and keep it for as long as you want. You and your friends can play on it. Um, I will tell you guys, it's always a lot easier if you're on with friends and you're playing on the same, on this, in the same tribe. If not, you may have to go join their tribe and do all of this for them, and then join the next tribe, do all of it for them, get back into your tribe and do all of it for yourself again. Yeah, I wish there was an easier way. I wish they hadn't changed the save format, but they did. Uh, hopefully you guys found this at least somewhat helpful. Um, if you have any questions, I know this is kind of a quick blurb and it's just been like all over the place, but if you guys have any questions at all, comment in the comment section. I'll do my best to get back to you with it, uh, with any answers I may or may not have. But guys, that's pretty much it. That's the, that's the grand scheme of things in a nutshell. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I hope to see you on the next one.